2016 tournament number five. Uh, at the moment, yours truly is in the lead, but yours truly has got to ask 60 questions, which should put pay to his little game. Also, Dave Clark on 70 points has now asked his set, as has Chris Curtis, so we expect them two to score a ratio of two to three at least uh, over me, not a lot more. So, uh, nothing to be decided yet at the halfway stage. We've got 60 questions from Vince O'Connor, and hopefully we're able to go. Vince, uh, we good. That's great. Here we go. Okay. This man was the son of the second Earl of Edmund. His time as Prime Minister was problematic and was marked by intrigues against him by the Prince of Wales, who became regent. He was assassinated in 18... Edward. No! Take it. David. Special person. Then why are you doing? Ah, oh, stupid brain freeze. On May the 15th, Max Verstappen became the youngest driver to win a Formula 1 Grand Prix. Tyler Rosso. Incorrect. Replacing Sebastian Vettel. What? Incorrect. To dishonor. Who had Vettel replaced? Fernando Alonso. Correct. In October 2013, all six of the surviving Bresley Class A4 locomotives were gathered together. Two of them are named after parts of the British Empire. Dominion of Canada was one. David. Commonwealth uh, of Australia. Incorrect. Star of India. Incorrect. Minus one, minus one. What was the other? No, it's Union of South Africa. It's the Union of South Africa. Did I get that last time out? No, I got no, it last time out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I just changed. Didn't put the other pair. Good question. Very good question. Yeah. This biographical film was released in 1982. The original birth name of the lead actor was Krishna Banji. Gandhi. Yep. Yeah. That's got me a couple of batteries. We're battling in after three necks in a row. Go. This river is the fifth longest in the UK being 215 kilometres long. The Latin name for it is Varga, which rises on the side of Mount Plinlimon, not far from the sun. Why? It is, yes. That's more like it. <laughs> this film was released in 2015, directed by Pig Doctor and Pedro. Inside Out? Yeah. Patrick! This Australian cricketer was born in 1961. He played 55 test matches and 33 one-day internationals. His first test was against India in 1985 and his last test against South Africa in 94. At Perth in 1988-89 season... Alan, I'm going to just go in and get one of it. Alan Borden, minus one. Minus one. At Perth in 1988-89 season, he took a hat-trick spread across three overs. Alan Border gave him the nickname of Fruit Fly. David. Never Nope. Mervius. Okay. Yeah, we can kind of place it. Apparently because he's a bloody pest to play against. Never <laughs> Go, go. Yeah. This nurse was born in Norfolk in 1865. David. Quick, look it up. Yes. This Archbishop of Canterbury was born in Highgate, London in 1909. He was Bishop of Bradford 1956 to 61. Then the Archbishop of York until... David. Donald Cotton. It was. Great answer. Good pass too. Go. This country declared independence from Spain in 1810 and proclaimed a republic in 1818. Under the leadership. No, Chris. Mexico. Incorrect. Can I just neg you on that, please? No. Under the leadership of Supreme Director. What? David? Venezuela. Incorrect. Bring it on! Under the leadership of Supreme Director Bernardo Higgins. Ah, yes. Its flag is very similar to that of Texas and its offshore territories include East Island. Hey. Uh, 
the uh, it's it's chilly. It is chilly. It is chilly. Although only officially becoming Oxford College in 1957, it claims to be the oldest. Fish. Woodcliffe. No. The oldest academical society for the education of undergraduates in any university. Its original founding may have been as early as 1236. David. University College Oxford. Incorrect. Alumni include Emma Kennedy, Terry Jones, Robin Day, Al Murray and MJK Smith. St. <sighs> Edmund Hall. You do have on a hat to connect if you want. <laughs> it's all yours. Bring it up. This Irish county is in the northwest of Ireland. Its second largest town is Tubbacurry. No. It's Galway. Incorrect. Hang on. No. It was the site of the murder of Lord Mountbatten. It is the home county of Mary O'Hara, William Butler Yates, and Westlife. Got to go for Donegal. Incorrect. Newry? No, you can't. Not county. county. So I go. I didn't make that, so where did we go? Oh, God. This Victorian politician started as a high Tory, but became a leading figure in the Liberal Party. Chris. Gladstone. Yes. Great answer. I had a long question on that. Go. This Roman dynasty's first emperor was Vespasian. David. Flavian. Yes. Great stuff. Go. This company was founded in 1968 and was a major player in the PC market from 1980. In 86, it bought the rights to sell and manufacture Sinclair. Well, I, I buzzed through Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Amstrad, it is. It is Amstrad. This disease is thought to have first appeared about 10,000 BC. In the closing years of the 18th century, it is thought to have killed around 400,000 Europeans annually. The first vaccine was tested in 1796. Smallpox. It was. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Go. This cheese was first sold in 1982. Chris. Lime's wrong. Yes. Right, let me just get my thoughts here because I think I'm running behind the, the pace of it. Go on. Ready? Yeah. This charity was founded in London in 1981. It now has fundraising. Chris. Um, sports side. Incorrect. Hold it. Go on. It now has fundraising offices in 27 countries. It has been associated with Glastonbury Festival since 1994. Its main activities include hygiene, hygiene education and providing safe toilets and clean water. Go on, Chris. Water aid. It is water aid. Ah, This religious organisation was founded in 1954 in South Korea. Oh. The Monets. Incorrect. Yeah, Chris. No, I was going to say as well. It is noted for its large scale weddings. Its founder died in 2012 and its nickname is based on his name. Unification Church. It is the Unification Oh, look, surely we don't get next on that. Well, you know, we gave you the answer. We did, well, I mean, give him the two parts, but don't nail us to us. So, I'm happy with that if you are there. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. The locomotive flying Scotsman has recently returned to steam following a major overhaul. On which heritage railway did it make its test run following overhaul? Uh, keep it worth valid. No. Chris? Blue Bell Line. No. Yeah, North Yorkshire Moors. They went there afterwards. It started at the East Lancashire Railway. Ah, okay. Yeah. Because it was, it was repaired at uh, Ripley's Place, which is on the East Lancashire Railway. Well. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The first rugby union courage league took place in 87 88. Three Lancashire teams, three Lancashire clubs were involved. Oral and Waterloo were two. Final. Incorrect. Oh, that's a look at. Oh, David. Sale. Yes. 
the rest of the question was the third finished bottom with no weakness. Go. This painter was born in Milan in 1571. His paintings include David with the head of Goliath, Deposition, Annunciation, The Lute Player, and The Seven Works of Mercy. How about that here? It was. I wanted to go from the get go on that one, but. Which animal is young called Crea? The males are known as Macho and females as Hembra. The two main types are Suri and Wakaya. Their wool is often used for the manufacture of clothing. It's just kidding. It's not a fish. Alpaca. It is alpaca. Get in there. Thank you for putting in and stopping me from saying the Kuna. Next. This scientist was born in freshwater on the Isle of Wight in 1635. He studied at Modern College, Oxford, and was assistant to Robert Boyle. He was the first curator of the Royal Society in 1661. His law states that the four students... Well, yeah. oh. yeah. It is. This comic book writer, born in 1914, he co-created the original Green Lantern, and he was only credited... Chris Schuster. No. Minus one. And he was only credited after his death in 1974 with co-creating Batman. Kane. No. No! He was credited all along. Um, I'd like to say I don't know. Bill Finger. Alright then. Well, you're going to that question last week. That's a great question. Very, very legitimate. This book was published in 1961. He tells the tale. Hey, Chris, kill a mockingbird. Incorrect. Hold it. Go on. He tells the tale of an inspirational teacher who was her own set of girls that she nurtures. Whoa, whoa, Steve gets the plan of Miss Jean Brody. Yes. Confidently, no question mark at the end of that one. In, her in heraldry, this bird appears on the coat of arms. Eagle. No. <laughs> and, and he's a supporter in the armies of the city of Leeds. And he's, it's, it's an he's, owl. It's an owl. Yes. Let's go. This Welsh-born industrialist moved to Manchester where he was employed in a drapery, but by the age of 21 was the manager of Piccadilly Mill. He became well known as a social reformer and particularly for his running of the mill at New Lanark. Not David, not David. It is Robert Owen. Whose statue in Newtown is with his back to the town because the people thought that's what he did to the town. Right. This musician was born in Western Super Mary in 1945. His career started as a session musician with the Outlaws. He was also the guitarist in Heinz's number one, just like Eddie. In 1968, he became a founding member of Big Purple, and later, Richard Blackmore. It is Richard Blackmore. Oh, thank goodness. The way you paused it, I thought I was going to be out there. Chris, you were not far behind. Go on. This TV show, based on the puppets, was first aired in October 1946, and was presented by Annette Mills, sister. It's Chris. Um, Muffin the Mule. It is Muffin the Mule. And that's 30 questions. Yeah, we got This football club was founded in 1864 and are the oldest club in Wales. After spending many years in the Birmingham District League... We've got to go for Swansea. Incorrect. Oh, well. After spending many years in the Birmingham and District League, they were among the initial members of the third division door in 1920. David. Rex. 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 David, do what? I can bring myself a little bit of a thought in this. So all of a sudden, <laughs> you're only looking at that question of the Let's go. This actor was born in 1923 and died in 2011. He had a part in How the West was won for his best known for a part for which he was recommended by John Wayne, that of Matt Dillon in Boomsmoke. Chris. James Garner. No. Oh. Have you finished? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's no name. No, I'm happy today. Uh, 
Red Bluff, go on, sorry. James Arnett. It is James Arnett. Back to normal. Be bad at God. This species of penguin is found on the coastlines of Australia and New Zealand. In Australia they are sometimes called fairy penguins and in New Zealand they are more commonly known as blue penguins. They are the smallest species of penguin. Daily. Incorrect. Gentoo. Incorrect. Same rock hopper. The little penguin. Okay. Oh, there you go. Perfect. So, so, so. Great question. And it's bigger than the titchy penguin. <laughs> yeah, the pinweight. This band was formed in London in 1962. They were named after their keyboard player. Spencer Davis Blue. Incorrect. No, 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 no. Man from man. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a long, lovely question then, wasn't I? We won't Spencer Davis for that other question. We only ever going to do man from man, wasn't we? Too early for man from man 62. I mean, for Spencer Davis. Go on. Dug the big dig. The, the big one. The big dig. Yeah. The archaeological dig 2000 to 2003 on the site of what is now the Whitefriars Shopping Centre explored a slice of the south eastern. I'm going to go for Leicester, but incorrect. Explored a slice of the south eastern part of which city? The finds led to the theory that the settlement developed around. Chris Leicester. He said Leicester. Yeah. Incorrect. It's just not you. The settlement developed around a religious settlement near the River Stour. Oh, Canterbury. It is Canterbury. I thought Chris would get that one. Well, from being 12, oh, I've been 29. <laughs> Come on. This man was born in Huntingdon in 1626. Steve, I'll have Incorrect. David. Yeah, I'm honest enough to admit that was my answer as well. Chris? Yeah. You can still change your answer, David. Yeah, I've got another one, mate. Uh, Richard Cromwell. It was Richard Cromwell. Good answer. Years were two. What year? Yeah. 1626. Elected MP for Amsterdam in 1654, for Cambridge University in 56. Succeeded his father as Chancellor of Oxford in. And in Sorry, Chris, you've got a bite there, didn't you? Yeah, I've got two for that, please. Yeah, so let me just put the two in here. Sorry. Okay. This film, released in 1987, starred Hugh McCrony and Jessica Tandy. Sorry, please. This film, yeah. released in 1987, yeah. starred Hugh McCrony. David. That's your Yes. The Bias, Ravi, Chenna, Jailu and Sutledge are the rivers that give which states in Northwestern? David. Good job. Yeah. This American Energy Commodities and Services Company based in Newton, Texas. Yes. Exxon. No. Enron. It's Enron. Yeah. The only ones I can get the little ones you're throwing back now. Yeah. Hold it. Go. This athletics event has been competed in by men at all modern Olympics since 1896 and by women since 1960 with an isolated inclusion in 28. In 1896, the gold medalist was Edwin Teddy Flack, who was Australia's only competitor. David. Edwin Flack was 1,500 metres. No, he wasn't. No, he did win 1,500 in 1896. No, he only won one medal. Um, the reigning Olympic champions are David Rudisha of Kenya. Yes. 800 metres. Yes. In cricket, what is the term used for a ball invented by Bernard Bosico? David. Good luck. Yeah. Would you accept this ball, then? Well, that's the Australian term. Yeah, would you accept this ball, then? I probably would. Yeah. yeah, I know it's the ball, as well. Which Irish novelist was born in 1930 in County Clare? She originally trained as a farmer's... 
and no brain. Yes. Busan is, oh, yeah. Busan is a large port at the base of the Guangzhou Mountain and is the second largest city in Asia. South Korea. Yeah. In 2009, Andy Murray became the first British man to win which tennis tournament since Bunny Austin in 1938? Steve, the Stella Latta. No. Cliff. Junior Wimbledon. No. David. Queens. Yes. Which key battle of 1485 marks this? Chris Cosworth. Oh. Yes. No, oh! Where's it called? Six of these. Okay. Yeah, there's one part of What is the name of the stage musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber, first performed in 2010, but is the sequel to his musical Phantom of the Opera? David. Not Never Dies? Yes. Not Never Dies. Go on. Who was the main female singer with the groups Jefferson Airplane? Grace Slick. Yeah. Which debtor's prison in Southern? Mattersea? Yes. Which, which saint, born in County Donegal, founded the monastery on the island of Iona? It's me, it's <laughs> No. Uh, Columbus. I thought it was Columbus, but not Columbus. Actually, I've got Cullen back, yes. Right, so, did you finish the question? No. Two no. Tool Chris and two for David. That, yeah, that's the way to go, I think. Which word, with the Greek origin denoting items owned by a woman, apart from a diary? Tathanelia. Yes, I had a university challenge, Brad Clay. <laughs> I got it wrong, I said brick and brack. But I didn't get it wrong from Billionaire, which was what counted. Go on. Which 19th century philosopher, essayist and poet gave a dedication speech at the opening of Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Concord, Massachusetts? It said, uh, must be David. It is. How? Oh, never heard of it. Yeah. yeah. Facebook, yeah. Look him up. Sam Burgess, the dual code England Rugby International, played rugby league for Bradford Bulls. Says South Sydney Raptors. Yes. Good answer. Did he say Gabby Towns there? That is the name of the club. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, I had to pay it. Go. Named as a Batwayan politician and clergyman who be known to... Whoa, 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 Chris. The Reverend and Darwin Amy Satomi. Incorrect. Oh! David! Reverend Abel was a railway. Yeah. He does tend to be a Prime Minister of Zimbabwe. Greasy. Go on. Which phrase, first recorded in the 1866 novel The Headless Horseman by Thomas Maine Reed, became a popular implication for Americans to express astonishment or awe. Golly gosh. No. Great Caesar's ghost. No. A beard of Gandalf. Okay. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Right, very good. No, no, next. <laughs> I love that kind of question. Name the plant described. It is an herbaceous perennial plant growing from short, thick rhizomes. It produces large leaves that are somewhat triangular with long, fleshy... Chris! Rhubarb. Rhubarb, indeed. Oh! Perfectly. Good good. Shit. Love it. In which classic novel would you find the characters Colonel Brandon? Sense and sensibility. Indeed. Clive Dunning, we need you. Which card game of French origin is central to the plot of Pushkin's of the Queen of Spades? In a I, I press, uh, so I'm going to go with Van Terre and Pontoon, that'd be a card. Nope. Nice one. Yeah. In War and Peace, Rostov loses 43,000 rubles playing it. 
With the simplified <laughs> spelling, oh, I thought it was finished. Baccarat. Incorrect. With the simplified spelling, it later became popular in Wild West saloons and was the favourite game of both Wyatt Herb and Doc Holliday. Poker. Pharaoh. No. F A R O. Very, very good question with no complaints about that at all. In population terms, it is the third largest municipality in Italy after Rome and Milan. Naples. Yes. Oh! How far from you now? Hey? How far from you now? Three hundredths of a second. I didn't know I'm impressed. Check it out. Be it and weep, it's all the same to me. <laughs> Two questions left. <laughs> oh! The phlogiston theory postulated... Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Cliff, that was Joseph Priestley talking about oxygen. Yes. I'll take oxygen. Good. Nice expansion. I like it. You call it deep phlogiston. Yeah. Yes. In Irish mythology, his childhood name was Satanta. He gained a better name... Finical. To say I don't. That's not the answer I've got. Go on, that's kind of He gained his better known name when he killed a guard dog belonging to a smith and offered to take his place until a replacement could be reared. What was his? What is his better known name? Well, the only other one I know in Irish mythology is Cuculain. Cuculain. Yeah. yeah. Cuculain actually means the, the the hand of Cullan, and Cullan was the smith. Uh, it's nice to see Tramford of creeping into this now. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my last question. Very good. Okay, let's